Good day, viewers. Welcome to Afri's Concept TV, your number one reliable channel, where you get updated and enlightened on what is happening around you. I appreciate you for the time spent while watching and viewing our channel. So if you are new on this channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever I drop any video. Biafran News Biafrans vow to give its men bloodly retaliation. The news in details. The Biafran National Youth League, BNYL, has condemned the recent killing of seven villagers in Delta State by suspected Fulani headsmen, vowing to retaliate. Recall that the corpses of eight farmers reportedly killed by gunmen suspected to be headsmen at Uweru in Ugeli North local government area of Delta State. Last Friday, were recently exhumed by a search team made up of police personnel and representatives of the community for investigation. Two of the corpses were exhumed on Sunday, while six others were exhumed on Monday after Monday in the afternoon. BNYL Chief of General Staff Linus Asuko Essien in a statement to Daily Post on Friday blamed Southern leaders for the continuous attack in the region. The group said some of the leaders have been discouraging BNYL from coordinating reprisal across the Southeast and South South region even as they know what we are capable of and what we are made up of. These headers have infiltrated our communities and the only way we can force them to retreat is giving them a bloodiest fight back, they said. The pro Biafran group drew attention to the Nimbo killing in Uzo Owan in local government area of Enugu state. We were disappointed when after that horrific experience nothing was done but the people were told to fast and pray that alone gave them more mind to advance and they are gradually coming down to bakase but we are capable of handling them the bnyl said according to bynl the attackers were not ordinary headsmen adding that the presidency knows how to repatriate these killers back to the north. BNYL called for more synergies among the southeast and south south, adding that the target was the old eastern region. Thank you for listening to this news. Viewers, please, this information is of great importance to us. Be you in the south east or south south or southwest. All I know is that we still have Biafrans in the southwest. These people they can barge into any of these places. So you being a Biafran in the southwest this news is still for you. You need to be upright. You need to be wise. You need to be observant and vigilant. Because they come in sheep clothing. You can see what has just happened in the southeast. How killings are just going around so i will use this opportunity to still crave the crave and call the indulgence of the federal government this is what we nigerians are talking about insecurity you're not safe none of the still said it but it was as if is is uh is is trying to this it is trying to criticize Nigeria because 
because is there because uh, it wants Nigerian to grant Biafran a republic. No, he just saying the fact. You know the security of the citizens are of great importance. We are citizens of this country, so our security are of great importance. If we don't, if we are not secured, where then do we go to? Where do we run to? This is our our country. This is where we are naturalized. This is where we are born. So the federal government to, should take it up and see how these headsmen will be will be uh, repatriated or brought to jail. You can see what was said in this news that the federal government knows how to get rid of these people. So if of the truth that the federal government knows i plead to the federal government before half of the citizens of this country are wiped out let them do something about this and put an end to this issue so i don't know what your own comments may be concerning this news don't forget to leave them behind Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to receive more updates. Thank you.